Hello there. A new, independent research body will take an innovative and flexible approach to funding cutting-edge science and technology in the UK. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost. And I'm always uploading new content, so please do check back every day. And a big thanks to my Patreon and PayPal supporters. The UK government is bringing forward a bill to create the Advanced Research and Invention Agency, or ARIA, which says the government will be empowered to take an innovative and flexible approach to funding cutting-edge science and technology. And the government's statement on it says, The agency will empower some of the world's most exceptional scientists and researchers to identify and fund transformational areas of research to turn incredible ideas into new technologies, discoveries, products and services helping to maintain the UK's position as a global science superpower. With the Business Secretary Kwasi Kwarteng saying, This bill marks a momentous step forward for UK research and development, creating a bold new scientific agency with invention at its core, putting the UK in a formidable position to respond to the most pressing global challenges of our time. And the UK government points to the success of the US Advanced Research Projects Agency, ARPA, and its Defence Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, on which ARIA will be modelled. ARIA's functions will be to do or commission or support others to conduct scientific research, develop and exploit scientific knowledge, and collect, share, publish and advance scientific knowledge. And it has a special remit to back high-risk ventures if the potential scientific rewards look promising enough. That means operating with a high tolerance to the risk of failure. On this, the bill says, In exercising any of its functions under this Act, ARIA may give particular weight to the potential for significant benefits to be achieved or facilitated through scientific research or the development and exploitation of scientific knowledge that carries a high risk of failure. And ARIA is due to be with us for at least 10 years as the bill says the agency cannot be dissolved within 10 years of the Act being passed. And to ensure its independence, ARIA will not be a servant or agent of the Crown, nor will it enjoy any form of immunity, and nothing it owns belongs to the Crown. This also means that the agency will not be subject to Freedom of Information Act requests. The government says... This innovative approach to funding will give its leadership the tools and autonomy to push boundaries in search of new discoveries. And it will be up and running by 2022. That's just next year. So do you think ARIA will give the UK a post-Brexit edge? Please share and comment below. And if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it by following the link in the descriptions box below and support me on Patreon or PayPal. And thank you for watching.